I lost. Well, I guess that's, that's enough. As I said, you cannot win against me. Our forms can be mimicked, but you can never replicate our inner drive. This is a setup. What is that? Is that the hill where Yasugami High is? The orbs of light are gathering there. culprit of this case intending to... No! I must ask that you not needlessly inquire further. Now is not yet the time. <gasps> Naoto Shirogane, you will be making your exit here. Die. No way! Why is it Dachi son? Could he be a fake? Huh? Not fake? Oh, right! I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> Why are you here? Huh? Oh! <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved. But someone begged me to help out. And you know, I'm not the kind of guy who can say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Hmm? Have you guys already met? Oh, man. That doesn't matter. Don't tell me you're working with the culprit this time, too. Ah, uh, well, what do you think? Don't play dumb. If I don't like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on. Aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are! You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't you? You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? Adachi-san, you said you would abide by the rules of this world. So why are you here? Rules. Rules, eh? Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Oh, man. I see you never learn. The only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. All the questions about what he's after or what's gonna happen to this town. I don't give a damn about any of it. What's he saying? Adachi, you lousy! Whoa, whoa, give me a break. I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here. Because that's how you think. The rules here? You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's gonna happen because of that. Honestly. Rats like you barely even think. What's that supposed to mean? Like I keep saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it could bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those Persona fragments by now. <coughs> huh? We've been inadvertently helping him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. What was that just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you. 
I guess. Oh, and your friends who got caught? They might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? It means just what it sounds like. Then again, I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> Okay, Yosuke? This actually hurts more than you think. I mean, when did these get set up? How much, much longer are you gonna, gonna make me wait? wait? You better entertain me at the very least. Welcome, Welcome to, to this special ring. ring. This place is truly a square jungle. It sure brings back memories. Takes me back. Master? Oh, I'm glad that you're safe. <laughs> Fake Akihiko san. Don't you all long for the tensing of muscles and the clenching of fists? It's only seconds away. Step forward if you want to taste that match. Wait, where did Adachi go? Hey, doesn't this shaking seem bad? It's been getting stronger and stronger! Yeah, looks like we don't have much time. Hey, hey hold on a sec. Adachi said something about Persona Fragments earlier. What did he mean? Last time. Sho tried to get powerful shadows by shaking us up so our personas would turn back to their original form. And this time, he's lured us into this red fog and made us fight our fakes, so we can carve off persona fragments in the process. Oh, you mean those balls of light that pop out when we fight against the fakes? Probably, yeah. Sho is trying to do something with the persona fragments he's collecting. But what, though? Is he gonna make a new persona for himself with them? I don't know. But all the Persona fragments I saw so far were headed to the top of this tower. We might find our answers there. Sheesh, these hallways are too long. How far do they go? You'd think we'd have gotten to the stairs by now at least. Maybe just running down the hallways won't work. Why don't we try going into the first open room we see? I mean, this place was connected in some messed up ways during the last P1 Grand Prix. You do have a point. But there's tons of classrooms here. Should we just start with the closest one? Whoa, bingo! Oh, good job, Yosuke! I still don't like this plan. We're gonna have to check every door we find from here on out. Don't worry, you can do it, Yosuke. Yeah, we'll be okay if we got Yosuke with us. What's with the blind trust in me? I don't remember you guys being such goody-goodies. What are you doing, Yosuke? Come on, you better hurry up! Why isn't anyone listening to me? Don't you think it's weird that you're about to leave me behind after saying all that nice stuff? Too far. 
What are you trying to do with all these Persona fragments? <laughs> what do you care? Win or lose, you're all gonna die anyways. <gasps> I got nothing to tell you. Now, bring on the ring! Just need to hurry on ahead. We're out of time. Yeah! Still, it's so frustrating! Hey, something just crossed my mind. Personas were originally our shadows, right? Hmm? What's this all about? No, oh, I was thinking about what the culprit's after. I wondered why he'd be so hell-bent on our personas. Huh? Well, think about it. There's a bunch of shadows in the TV world. So why is he so fixated on our personas? Good question. reason he's targeting our personas in particular. Some reason why it can't be just any old shadows? You dodged. Such a struggle you put up. You're wasting my time. Who are you? I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. I am the one who will destroy you, the Kirijo fools, and this world. Uh, so, you're the ones who captured Mitsuru-san and... Yes, I caught them off guard. Just as I did with you here. It seems you're not very perceptive. Though your intuition is impressive. For you to discern our plan after only one battle. It's an absurd scheme. What are you trying to summon with that tower? Don't get me wrong, that in itself is not my objective. All I want is to grant a wish. A wish? Whose? There's no need for you to know. You kidnapped Labras and attempted to collect our personas before, but that's not the case this time. You're using Mitsuru-san and her team as hostages, and you've prepared fake versions of us to fight. Hmm. There's only one reason why you'd create such elaborate imitations of us, even to the point of summoning personas, and have them challenge us. You set this entire scenario up so that we wouldn't think twice about fighting. I 
again, your intuition is impressive. By forcing you to fight in this fog, I am carving off bits of your personas. Carving off our personas? I've said too much. It seems our guests of honor have arrived. I enjoyed my time with you. If the opportunity arises again, I'd like to speak with you further. Guests of honor have arrived. I've been waiting for you, Shadow Operatives. Who are you? Why are you doing all this? Who am I? Hmm? constant question. It's quite intriguing that a machine created for suppressing shadows would ask it. What? But first, let me see the rest of you. No! Yukari-san! Capcom! Quite the persona user. However, Yukari-san, he's winding up for another one. We're getting off, Koromaru. That was close. But now that we're here, you don't get to do whatever you want anymore. Naoto Shiragane, right? Are you all okay? We'll handle this. <laughs> Labrys, I'm trusting Naoto Kun with you. Gotcha! You don't have to worry about a thing now. So you're our enemy. You won't escape now. The players have finally gathered. It's nice to meet you. I am Minazuki. Sho Minazuki. Welcome to his world. I wanted to meet you all, especially Kirijo. You are the ones who killed his father, after all. What's he talking about? Who knows? I don't really care, either. I have no intention of fighting you now. I only wished to see your faces. I'll be heading back now. Take your time. Don't get the wrong idea. I'll be your What the? What's going on? Another now, Tokun? <laughs> Don't be deceived. That's an imitation of me. An imitation? Huh. That sounds like the kind of dirty trick they'd pull. Huh. It seems, seems I'll, I'll be facing, facing those, those who are participating, participating in the Grand, Grand Prix, Prix for the first time. I, I hate to waste time. So let's simply begin now. 
Bring on the rage! Everyone, get away from me! Hurry! Uh, Yukari-san, Kodomaru, spread out! What's going on? Wait, what the? Where's the culprit? What? Wait, when did he? <laughs> like, like I, I said, said, I'll be your opponent. Don't, don't worry. A, a version of myself so close to death. And the machine who's just joined the Shadow Office would be pretty sorry, Prey. So just this once, while no attacks are still allowed from outside the ring, I'll agree to fight whoever enters the arena. Well, of course, once you pass those red pillars, invisible walls prevent anyone from you until I defeat you in single combat. Invisible walls? <laughs> That's just ridiculous! This is just like the last P1 Grand Prix, except we're in the real world. Hello! General Teddy here! Long time no see, Labby-chan! Uh, oh, don't look so shocked. Let's see if I can guess what you were thinking. No! You're supposed to be my shadow! Whoa. Or something like that. Is that Inaba's persona user, Teddy? He doesn't look like a bear to me. He just looks like a plush mascot. Is he dressed up like that on purpose? Oh. You there! Silence in the peanut gallery! How dare you call my bona fides into question? I'll have you know I look bearific! Crap, he heard me. This is your last chance to push your luck like that. Labby-chan and Nao-chan aren't getting out of here until you win a one-on-one -on -one fight! So, are you okay with that? Are you gonna move on without your friends? Hurry up and decide whether you're gonna enter the ring or not! Will you shut up? Fine, let's do this. I'll go in and... No, please move on! Huh? You can't let him provoke you. The culprit's aim is to make us fight against our doubles thereby carving off our personas. Carve off our personas? Mitsura-san and the others are within the tower on the hill. It won't be easy, but try and avoid combat with the imitations as you rescue them. Okay, Labrys, we're leaving the rest to you. Oh, what's this? They left you behind. I guess that's the extent of this friendship you go on about. That's not true. What about it is not true? For it seems to me that the others moved on, leaving me to alone. You clearly have no understanding of the bonds between people. Yeah, what she said. They didn't ditch us. Yukari-san believes in me, so that's why she trusted me to take care of Naoto-kun. That's why I'm gonna make sure to knock you out of the park myself! What a fantastic battle! We must have gathered a good many Persona fragments just from that alone. <laughs> Was it okay, Naoto-kun? We ended up fighting this thing. There was no getting around it. Our enemy has Mitsura-san, her friends, and this town hostage. Besides, we had no means of escape. So, everything was set up perfect. Who do you think that Minazuki guy is? I don't know, but... Ah! Naoto-kun!
Thank you, Labrys. You truly saved my life. Come on, no need to thank me. I told you it was my turn to help you guys out. But what about you, Kunanam? Just like I thought. Though that fake you was a tough customer. What in the world are they? The imitations seem to be crafted from shadows. I'm astonished that they can even copy our persona abilities. But that aside, let's hurry, Labrys. There's actually something I couldn't tell you, Kari-san, earlier. Huh? What's that? It's that young man Minazuki's true objective. He's gathering persona fragments from us in an attempt to summon something hideous. Something hideous? Indeed. He'll use the tower looming on the hill, just as Tartarus was used when Mitsuru-san and her friends were in high school. I don't know what in particular he intends to bring forth, but there's no denying that his aim is something along those lines. Really? Oh yeah, I actually felt something odd about that guy myself. Odd? In what way? Well, when I got close to him, I felt something strange. It was exactly like the feeling I get from those plumes of dust we have as cores. Oh. Does this mean he had a plume of dust in his possession? Not exactly. It wasn't that he had one on him. It was more like it was synced up with his heart. It felt just like ours do. Synced with his heart? lose. You saw us fight earlier, right? Yukari-san and ken -kun can really kick some ass. It seems you've made some wonderful friends, Labrys. Huh? Oh, huh. You think it's okay for me to think of them that way? It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> That's how it is at the start. Once you come to realize it, though, You'll find that it turns to a warm feeling within you. Huh. Is that how it was for you, Naotokun? Who knows? Perhaps it was. Let's go rendezvous with the others. Your school always this big? I think I'm done for. Look, my legs are turning into twigs. They were twigs to begin with. Quit your whining and get moving. Uh, I know. was always this big, I'd be late for class every day. That's what you're worried about? Man, how the hell is this place hooked up? Oh, could we try opening up a window and climb up the walls? Ah! ah! What are you thinking? Yuki-chan, that's against the rules! Huh? The imposter's showing its face again! If you don't give up now, you're gonna get more than just a beating! What are you talking about, you moron? I'm the one who wants to punish you! Shouldn't you all be trying harder than this? Don't you understand the situation you're in? If you don't hurry, the world really is going to end! Yet you keep dallying around and wandering all over! None of you have any guts, I say! Shut up! Do you want to end the world or not? Which is it? 
If you didn't want us to get lost, you should have made us a straight path, damn it! That would defeat the purpose of the P1 Climax! It's only natural for the bad guys to be mean. <laughs> Fine. Now hear this! I, General Teddy, am gonna give you a warning because I'm so tear-jerkingly nice! Open up those tiny ears! If you don't hurry up at once, the lives of the captive princesses will be in danger soon! What? Yuki-chan? What was that for? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Looking at that teddy made me angry for some reason. How tyrannical! The bear on screen and adorable little moi are totally unrelated! Adorable little moi is totally unrelated! Grr, don't copy me! Don't copy me! <laughs> Looks like we better hurry and find Mitsuru-san and rescue her gang, too. You're right. We should focus on that before we head higher up. All righty, then. Time to open up my bare nose once again. Wait. <laughs> Why do you keep turning our way when you sneeze? Uh, it's no use. The red fog's been so thick ever since we got into this building. My nose isn't working at all! Try harder, Teddy! Hmm. Well, if Yuki-chan gave me a big fat kiss, I think I could try harder. Enough of this bullshit! Hurry up and put that nose of yours to work! M -m my nose is very delicate! Searching through this fog makes my sneezing unstoppable! Don't worry, Teddy. I have lots of tissues. Yuki-chan, are you doing that on purpose? I don't need tissues! I need smooches! You can do this, right, Teddy? <laughs> Pay me no mind! Mm, Teddy knows, pull on searching! Hmm, I do sense something, but... What? Oh, here we go! I smell something like Michan and her friends from over there! Oops. Bastard! You got your snot all over me! You're doing this on purpose, huh? Who's that? Ah! We found a crucified Aki! Hang in there! <gasps> Akihiko-san! What a horrible thing to do! Hey, Pops! Are you the goddamn culprit? Pops? You mean me? Shh, shh. Youngins these days are so rude. Huh? Is he really the culprit in this? He seems a little flaky. Trash talking to me already, huh? I'm the lethal, lethal weapon, weapon of the Shadow Outlooks. Junpei Ori! So you're a fake? We don't actually know the real one, so how shocked should we act at learning you're the fake? No two ways about it. He's a dumbass. Shut up! Anyway, your game ends here. Here goes! Play ball! Hold it right there! 
The real Junpei Iori, at your service! Huh? Oh, he fell on it! He's not moving at all! I guess he's out cold! Now you're damn mumbling! I'll crush you like an egg, so let's get to it! Mm-hmm. We need to make him take responsibility for doing such a horrible thing to Akihiko-san. I don't really care about Aki, but I never forgive an evildoer! Wow, they're totally pissed. Good thing the rule savers has to be one-on-one. -on -one. All right, youngins, feel free to come at me. In your face, damn it! Hey, June Payori at your service! Ah. Do you think he's okay? In any sense, I mean. Uh, I don't know. Akihiko-san! Are you okay, Akihiko-san? Damn it! Who did this to you? Um, you're one of the shadow operatives, right, Junpei-san? Huh? Yeah, I am, but... How do you guys know about that? Hey, weren't you using Personas too? So that's how Akihiko-san got caught. I'm still kind of fuzzy on this stuff about the TV world and whatnot, but... I think I get the gist of it. Oh, right. I never introduced myself properly. I'm Junpei Iori. People call me the Shadow Operative's lethal weapon. Thanks for sticking up for Akihiko-san earlier. Uh... I'm Yukiko Amagi, a third year at Yasugami High. What's up? I'm Kanji Tatsumi, the second year. And, uh, who's this Blue Daruma doll? Who are you calling a Blue Daruma doll? I'm an Adora Bear! Adora Bear? Oh, is that one of the monsters that shows up in Featherman? Ah, how rude! How could you not know how popular I am, you sweaty bearded batter? Oh, what's with all the ruckus? I'm trying to sleep here. Aki Hiko-san! Aki! You're awake! Oh, thank goodness he's alive! He wouldn't come around. I was getting worried, man. Relax. I was just taking a nap to get back some of the energy they stole. But hey, it's been a while, Junpei. Were you the only one they called out? Uh, actually, I was more of a lone samurai. I got a call from Yucatan, but my phone ran out of juice during the call. <laughs> When I got here, something weird had happened to the town. I thought everyone was headed for this Tartarus-looking tower, so I came to check it out. Oh, a Yucatan should be with Ken, Koromaru, and this Labrys girl, who I guess is Igus' sister. I never met her, though. Even Ken got called up? Oh, man, I'm ashamed of myself. But why did you come to Inaba? Did you find out something about Labrys' case? Well, we heard that the Shadow Presence had ramped up in Inaba. We were headed here to look into why that happened. But while we were on our way, our car got ambushed and... Well, you know the rest. D 
damn it. That culprit's one sick bastard. How dare he torture you? Huh? They didn't torture me or anything. They didn't? But you're wounded all over, and your clothes are all ripped up. My clothes? What about my clothes? Uh... uh, uh. What are you saying, Junpei? Aki always looks like... God damn it, Ted! Shut your damn mouth! Huh? huh? Uh, oh, I get it. Yeah, uh, never mind, Akihiko-san. Uh, sorry for talking weird like that. Oh, that reminds me, though. This feels like that other thing we know all too well. Is it just me? So, you notice too. I mean, it's like... This is the Dark Hour, right? Dark Hour? What's that? Basically, the Dark Hour is a hidden time that ordinary people don't know about. We fought once to get rid of it. But that used to only last about an hour every night. What's happening to this town doesn't seem so simple. <gasps> that reminds me! General Teddy mentioned something like that! tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end! No punches pulled this time! That's not good. We have to meet up with Mitsuru and the others as soon as possible.